Hello beautifuls, welcome to your reading. So in today's reading, I've never done this one before. We are going to look at what do they want to happen with you guys. So in this connection or situation or in this relationship. So if you guys have never been to a pick a card, what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these crystals. Okay, so whatever one you like, like whatever one is intuitively pulling you towards it. So this one is group number one group number two, group number three, and group number four. And I will go ahead and put the timestamps down below. And you guys can go there, and I will see you in your reading. Hey, beautifuls. If you chose the first crystal, then this reading is for you. So if you want to go ahead and just get really relaxed and comfortable as we dive in. So group number one, I'm going to actually want to start off with the tarot for some reason. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is what they're wanting to happen. So we have the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords in Reversal. We have the Four of Swords. That is a lot of swords. Ooh, we have a lot going on here, huh? We have the Hermit in Reverse. Oh, and we have the Three of pentacles in reversal okay so you know i think right now this person is filled with a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress and a lot of this has to do with wanting to communicate and to talk to you these are all swords cards they're all communication cards um you know i honestly feel like no one wants the nine of swords i don't think anyone wants to be you know like dr having dreadful thoughts laying in bed and playing that shit over and over again that sounds like hell honestly and so i feel like you know what i'm gonna i actually feel like this is a lot of their feelings right here so maybe i'll do this kind of like a feeling energy and that's what i was thinking before i started because i was trying to think how i wanted to organize this so and then we're gonna pull more okay so first right now in their feelings, there's a really strong feeling of being isolated, okay? So, and not communicating and not talking, and it feels kind of, you know, that feeling when um, you're procrastinating and it's an inner restlessness and you know you have things to do, you know there's things that need to be said and stuff that has to happen and it's not happening and it's causing that kind of dread and anxiety and like kind of that itch underneath the skin, like, oh, like I need to do this. So, um... This person right now, they're feeling very stressed. There's a lot of thinking. The thinking is not very that like very clear. Um, with this, the hermit in reversal, it feels like the hermit upright is good because sometimes we need to go search, like search for different philosophies in life and or esoteric wisdom, like all sorts of things. Or you're just searching for the answer and you're looking in a lot of different ways. And it's kind of a quest and it's really cool because you do it alone. But it's like, how long can you be alone, you know? So this person's really feeling that they don't want to be withdrawn. They don't want to be pushed out. Um, three of Pentacles in reversal, you know, upright. We are on top of it. We're collaborating. We're working together. We're connecting. We're talking. It's three. It's a creative number. We're making things happen. But when it's in reversal, it feels like, Things are not really happening. We're very stagnant. So they're not really feeling that great. So tell us. Let's do this. I'm going to shuffle this back. So tell us. Really fresh energy. Tell us more about what do they want to happen between you guys. Justice. Sorry, I've had a lot of coffee. <laughs> the Page of Wands. I see that all the time. Hey, the Page of Cups. I feel like this is exactly how the reading was supposed to be set up. Oh my goodness. And the Five of... I, I'm just doing it right here, just so you know. So those are all fresh. They're coming out. Nothing's ever handpicked or anything like that. I just think it's so interesting. So 
and their feelings it's like a cloudy day like it's raining like I'm like they're stressed and there's so much shit to do there's so many things that need to be communicated but nothing is like coming out and if it comes out it's not fucking coming out right and so it feels like that it's like it feels like um like you're very irritated that's a really good word it's very irritated so what wants like what are they wanting well with justice it's kind of I feel like a very beautiful um, card where we really can come together and we can find the truth and we can see both sides of the situation. We have Libra here, so it's balance and it's harmony and it's it's communication because it's Libra with the air. So in what they're wanting, they really want to have a truth, like it needs to be truthful and what what's done needs to be talked about and what has happened needs to be talked about and you know what? to them it's kind of like you apologize and you let go and you move forward and so and I feel like with this it's so interesting we have two pages right next to each other and pages are very youthful and fun and so what they're wanting is laughter happiness like looking at the bright side of life and being enthusiastic for life believing in the love and the beauty for life participating in life like, how long can you hide in your room? How long can you be out, you know, searching the truths of the universe or being alone when there's that? And whether maybe you guys are together and it's, um, they've been hiding things or not being able to communicate everything that needs to be said. But, um, it's a very fun feeling that wants to come through. Um, it, I feel like it's almost a need to travel together or try something new together to be like young kids together just to play and mess around and with the page of cups um i really feel like i've had a lot of personal experience i don't know about other tarot readers but when the page of cups is in reversal it's so jealous it's so immature like it's a it's representing like a very immature person who can't be you know have that positivity for anyone else because they're just you know drowning in their jealousy and it's immature it's just it's straight up immature childish but when it's upright i feel like it's a beautiful childlike energy and you it's a kind of having a wonder for the world and seeing the wonder in everyone and seeing the beauty in all in all things and so when this comes through it's kind of like you want to take this cup of, of something new, of something fresh, of something happy, and work together. And it, this is very loving. And I guess if we're looking here too, it's like intuition and enthusiasm. Are we going to be enthusiastic about tr trusting their intuition, right, of connection? We have the Five of Swords. I mean, that's great. It's in reversal. It's it's peaceful resolution. When we're upright, we are down to fucking fight. Let's fight this shit out. He's like, I won't lose, but he already lost. This card sucks. Like, how's today gonna go? Five of swords, probably not good. <laughs> but you know what I mean? But it's in reverse. And so it kind of feels like um, in their feelings and what they want, it's like, it's all cloudy, right? And it's not a good day. And it's lightning and thunder. And sh you know, everything's fucked up. Like, you know, in the movies, when they play the time lapse and it's like a really sad time that's kind of i feel like how they're feeling but it's like the sun does come out eventually the clouds go away the rain stops and there are br brighter days ahead so let's go ahead and get some astrology i'm really curious on what's going to come through okay so we have the first house of the body, the Ascendant Aries, we have 19. Um, the sun is exalted at 19 degrees Aries. Um, and so with that, it's kind of feels like let's take that full strength and that power and everything that we want. And with that, it's very like, I want more, like I want abundance and happiness and using everything that I have. And it feels that way with you where you're fully putting the power into the relationship or into the connection and really needing to let go if there was any 
be like anything like said too like there's a lot of swords here i feel like there could have been some communication could have been really rough or really hard or maybe simply not enough communication and sometimes that hurts just as bad um so we have the ninth house of sagittarius which is traveling so it did kind of feel like going this new adventure with you and those are both fire energies so and we have mercury which rules both virgo and gemini we have Aquarius and we have Taurus. So you or them could connect with Aries, Sag, Mercury, Ge uh, Mer uh, Mercury ruled by Virgo and Gemini, Aquarius or Taurus. So um, <laughs> I'm just going to read super intuitively and just read uh, <laughs> like how it wants to come out and kind of connect all of these together. So with this, the first house, that's the body, that's the rising sign, that's when you're walking into a room or you're going to a restaurant or you're going to school, that's really a lot like of how people know you as. And it feels like with the ninth house, it's this quest for adventure and learning and traveling and going somewhere new that you've never been before. And the Aries is the, is the start, right? And so it feels like in the future, it feels like... For some, maybe moving in together or just solidifying things, making things more serious and taking that, that love of your body and bringing it into the warm, like Sagittarius embrace. And, and then we have Mercury. So we need to talk about it. That's how they're feeling in the future. What they're seeing is, you know what, especially because we have Mercury by Aquarius, which is technically the weirdo. And I mean that in a good way. But do we need to have some talks that are, it's okay, like, if something was awkward or something was weird, we should talk about it anyway. So, sometimes with this, it's like, was your past weird? Was my past weird? Was my upbringing weird? Am I weird? <laughs> like, is it, are there unique challenges that we just need to talk about and not feel ashamed about it and find that self-worth with Taurus? Because... Taurus is stubborn, Taurus doesn't really budge, but at the same time, Taurus will work and work for something that they love, and they really love something of nice quality. So it feels kind of like take this full strength that's coming through this reading and let go of anything that was once there that wasn't good and talk about the things that maybe are awkward to talk about. Um, let's go ahead and get a little bit more group number one. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. Number one. Oh, look at that. So we have 10, which is one. And then we have one. And then in one, nine in numerology, we have one. That's a lot of one. That's a fresh start. Oh, look at that. And we have 18. Hmm. It feels like... It feels like in their feelings, it wasn't all bad. The past wasn't all bad. There were so many great things, and that's why there's a future to be there. And without the things that happened in the past and without the difficulties, then we wouldn't be who we are. We wouldn't be wise. We wouldn't have experiences. So even if, you know, with this need to talk about weird things with Mercury, even if your experiences are different than theirs, like even if you feel like... um. Do we look different? Do we act different? Is our education different with Mercury? Do we come from different families? Like, does it really matter when you love someone? You know what I mean? Like, even with friendships, it's like, who gives a fuck? Like, if we're homies, like, we're homies. And it feels like with them, the, anything that you feel like may be weird about you or, maybe you know, they have some things that I feel like they feel are weird about them, it doesn't matter because... I, I really feel like true love prevails, you know, prevails. And so um, follow your own good advice. So 
it feels like in the future being very conscious wanting to explain to be conscious of the past and be aware of what you guys are both wanting and desiring for the future all in golden afternoon inspiration creative spark imagination conception so for some of you guys in the future they do really see children as well which i'm not surprised like a lot of, like a lot of people they you're getting older and you do want to create and you want to have a home and you want to have a family and you would love for it to be like stable and beautiful and so um to me if someone was really wanting inspiration a creative spark imagination i feel like that's when you do something you love because when you do something you love you're lost in the moment you're enjoying it so much and so i feel like it could even be wanting to take up a new hobby with you or wanting you actually you group number one to focus on your creative endeavors or focus on whether you like sports or you like writing or you like tarot when you focus on something you love and they this person also wants to focus on what they love it will make a more powerful couple you know and we have 18 no need to fear remember how powerful you are so there's a certain amount of need to remember the power that you guys have not only together but alone honestly it was very positive reading i'm very happy it was positive because i didn't really know how it was going to come out we have h we have c we have one we have a lot of number one energy a fresh start we have v we have q we have m we have six, we have F, we have F again, we have you, I don't think they're feeling aggressive or ang angry like that at you, they're actually wanting something more softer and harmonious, we have Y, we have X, we have number one again. It's almost like 1111. Maybe you see 1111 a lot. We have 8. We have T. We have R. We have P. We have 4. And I'm going to grab just a couple more. We have N. We have V. We have A. We have W, and we have the number five. So guys, I hope that connected with you. I hope it resonated. I am so grateful that you're here, and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome to your reading. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and get really relaxed and comfortable as we dive in, so group number two. This is going to be interesting. What are they wanting to happen between you guys? So what do they want to happen? So what I did with group number one is first I went through a little bit of their feelings because that helps me understand the situation better. So let's go ahead and get some tarot on their feelings towards you right now. a lot going on with this person okay so group number two nine of pentacles in reverse four of cups in reverse five of cups queen of swords in reverse and the moon in reverse it feels like in their it, you know what it feels like they're deeply literally in their feelings um with this nine of pentacles they're not really feeling very worthy right now they're not feeling maybe a hundred percent financially stable or independent the nine of pentacles upright she has all of her own money doing her all her own stuff she has all of the abundance that she needs and she created it all by herself and so it feels like right now 
this person's not really feeling um, <clears throat> good about themselves at all. Um, Four of Cups in Reversal. Kind of like annoyed. I feel like they could feel annoyed, frustrated, down in the dumps, kind of feeling irritable, feeling like they need to they need to let go of some certain things. I feel like they're frustrated with themselves because they're not doing well financially, or because they're not possibly working out or taking good care of themselves. Or they feel like they know like they're, they're not doing enough. Or they just know they're not bringing enough. Like the way they should. Um, Five of Cups. I mean this day is so shitty. He doesn't even want to look up. You know what I mean? So. Hmm. It feels like he's this person so pissed at themselves. Because. With the Five of Cups. It's. It's sad. We're feeling regret. We're feeling. Like, we possibly messed up. We feel like we're at a loss, you know? We're having loss in our lives. We're feeling it so intensely, too. Because we have Mars and Scorpio coming to play. So, it's a very intense card. And it's right in the middle. So, in their feelings right now, they're not feeling good. They're not feeling worthy. We have a Queen of Swords in reverse. And to me, she's scary in reverse. Because when you have someone that smart... And that on top of it. And the mind is literally working like that. Like the Queen of Swords. But it's in reverse. So it's feeling... Um, just like it says right here, malicious. Because... In feelings... It feels like they want to hide. Like they're embarrassed of something. They simply could be embarrassed just because they're not feeling good enough. Um, they're thinking a lot. Like, the brows are kind of squinting together. And they're kind of like, fuck. Like, did they mess up? I'm feeling like there is some... There's some regret here. We have the moon in reversal. Where it's like a deep need to communicate and to let go of illusions and let go of fear and let go of anything that seemed one way but it was completely something else so can we take it off like can we take off the veil uh i don't want to be invisible they're feeling like they don't want to be invisible to you they kind of really want you know they could be feeling like Mm, like the, with the Queen of Swords in reversal, this is like where we could get into a verbal quarrel or something, right? Like where you could talk shit to each other because you're pissed. Because the Queen of Swords can really let someone have it. Because she's like, she's communicative, she's fast, her mind is sharp. And so overall, I would say in their feelings, they're not feeling worthy of you. They're not feeling worthy of a lot like this love. There's a really deep sense of like, I know I need to do better. And it's bringing a lot of anxiety in the body, a tenseness like in the throat, it irritated, irritable, uh, feeling a regret, but also feeling a frustration because they want to connect and needing to let go of the veil, like leave, needing to let go of any illusions. So now that we have a very interesting feelings towards you right now, let's go ahead and let's see oh, these aren't like my favorite deck i'm still looking for i love the og deck and i really want to get a new one so get one soon okay this is what they're wanting this is what they want to happen i'm going to do it right here so you can see it with the nine of cups Six of Swords. And the Emperor in Reversal. So it's actually a little bit complicated. It feels like for some, there's something to do with children, possibly. Or father. Some fatherly energy coming through. 
Um, again, it feels like so badly, so deeply that they want you um, with the Page of Wands. This is what they're wanting for the future. Like, oh my goodness, let's like make it excited. Like, let's make it fulfilling. Like, let's make it optimistic and beautiful. Let's make it a bright, sunny day. Let's have like passion in our veins. Like, let's play. Let's have fun. And this is like kind of that, <laughs> it's not immature, but it's young and it's youthful and it's alive. And so kind of wanting that with you. And the Nine of Cups, the Wish card, the Yes card, the card you fucking want. I love that card because what's so amazing about the Nine of Cups is we get all of our wishes coming true. And because it's an internal, so we're emotionally fulfilled. And our, emotion, our emotions are like, they're really excited and they're happy. But at the same time, it's relaxed because you just know that you're fulfilled. And so... They really see a beautiful, fulfilling future. And obviously that looks like different things to different people. Maybe we can, and we can even uh, uh, clarify some of this with the, um, with the astrology dice. But with that, I feel like if we're kind of just kind of generalizing, when someone, a lot of people, they want maybe a family or they want to connect with, with friends or with family, they want to travel they want to learn, they want to do something creative, they want to have a beautiful life, a happy life, and I'm seeing that that's something they want, and um, with this, we have the Six of Swords, so this is specific for some, some, this is like we're moving, right, we're moving, we're leaving, and where we're going to is much calmer and a much better place than we were, and so it feels like This person, they could want to move in with you or move to you or move away from anything that was causing issues. Um, with the Emperor and the Chariot in reversal, it's very interesting because both of these cards are very like strong and they're a powerhouse and they are successful and they're stable and they're, you know, they have that force and they're victorious. And so more so the chariot's more victorious but the emperor knows how to make everything work in his life to get that victory but those two things are in reversal so they still struggle with they still struggle with feeling stable because four is a very stable number it's grounded it's realistic it's kind of patient and balanced so there's there could be there could be some wounds with this person's father or maybe with your father because the fatherly energy is not that good with them for in reverse where is the father is the father around was the father there for this person was the father there for you so i feel like they have some each in you know wounds on the inside and that could be maybe blocking things i know that they see a beautiful future that has so much fulfillment and really able to move on to calmer places calmer waters but happier and more fulfilling days but there's a certain amount of not feeling good enough or not feeling strong enough not feeling stable enough to create this but there's so much more positive than negative I just feel like there's some internal, like, am I good enough questions. Well, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do these. Wow. We have the fourth house, which is the mother and the home and the family. And the fifth house, which rules Leo, which is the son, which is the father. So you have the moon and the sun. There's something here with with the home, with family, with the mother, with the father. There's something going on. And we do have Pluto, which Pluto rules the 8th house, which is where all the secrets are kept, which is where all the intensity is in the 8th house, where the darkness is, where the depth is, where deep intimacy is. And so we have a lot of fire. Oh, we have all the fire signs. We have Leo, Sag, and Aries. Scorpio, which rules or uh, Pluto, and then we have the moon, the fourth house. 
So I feel like relating it back to, I was kind of questioning, what is it that they want so deeply that's going to fulfill them? I feel like for them, it's actually a, a balancing of masculine and femininity. It's a, it's, a, it's a home, it's stability. It's being able to feel safe and loved and nurtured and a place that you can just be your authentic self, fifth house of fun, creativity, enjoyment, enjoying each other, um, and learning too. Because I believe the fifth house rules like university learning. And then Sagittarius is like higher learning, but well, very wisdom like. And then we have Pluto. So Pluto will intensify everything. So they actually want, they like intensity. They like like hooking up they like sex they like deep connection they like cuddling they like dark secrets they like interesting things they like possibly even tarot or astrology or something dark maybe like when you guys have dark hair or darker eyes i feel like they see with pluto next to leo i feel like a Leo energy that's very fun and extra and creative, touched with Plutonic energy. That's very lingerie to me. That's very sexy. That's very matching lingerie, like black or red. They have a lot of sexual things that they want to happen in the future. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then we have Sagittarius, which is embarking on this new adventure and we're going to learn together. We're going to be optimistic. We're going to, you know, smile and whatever comes our way, we know we can handle it because we have Aries. So there's way more positive positives in this reading than negatives. There is um, some other feelings, some father wounds coming through of maybe not feeling strong enough. We have 45, such a curious dream, grounding, returning to reality, coming home. There's a huge emphasis on home, wanting, and look at that, it's right between the enthusiasm, fulfillment, the two positive cards on what they want to happen. I feel like a lot of their wants in the future has to do with coming home, like coming home to you, being with you, you coming home to them. We have three, follow the white rabbit, curiosity meets opportunity. I feel like in the fu in the future, they want to, with this, I just feel like it's sexual because it like Pluto's right here. I feel like they're very curious about trying new things with you sexually. It's kind of funny it didn't happen in the first reading like that. Oh, interesting. Number nine, curiouser and curiouser. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. Third house is Gemini, which is learning. Ninth house is Sag, which is also learning. That's really cool. So they're craving um, in the future, possibly learning with you, growing with you, playing around with you, like teasing with you, seeing new places with you, discovering new ideas with you. Um, maybe a connection towards writing or reading a book that you guys both like or listening to maybe like the same maybe like the same type of music or having similar interests. Okay. We have W. Oh, this is crazy. It could go M or it could go W, but look at this. M O M. There's something to do with the mother, with the home, with the family, with the fourth house of the upbringing with fatherly energy, maybe your mother or their mother, or there's a connection with the mother, the connection with the fourth house, the moon, the home, the family, the upbringing, something to do here with fatherly energy. So when this, what does it say? What, what are they wanting to happen with you? We have mom. So I feel like it's really that emotional fulfillment is going to be in creating some sort of family. And we have this little bunny. For some of you guys, I know not everyone wants kids. So maybe for some of you guys, it's like dog mom or dog dad. We have B. We have N. We have Pound. We have Q. We have R. We have K. We have F. 
we have C, we have, let's do W, we have D, we have 4, we have, I think that's, oh, that's an S, okay, I didn't know if it was an S or, okay, we have 3, we have 8, we have R again, we have G, we have H, we have number one, we have number four, we have number six, and we have the letter T. So you guys, I hope that connected with you, I hope it resonated, I'm so grateful that you're here, and I hope you are enjoying your time here on my channel. And I will see you again very soon. Bye. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome to your reading. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and get really relaxed and comfortable as we dive in. Okay, so today we are going to look at what are they wanting to happen between you guys? I don't think I've ever done a reading like this particular topic, but I may have because I took a little break, so I'm not sure. <laughs> But okay, group number three, what we're going to do first is I'm going to pull some of their feelings because this is going to help me understand your guys' situation better. Oh, that's beautiful. We have the sun. Oh my gosh, we have the two of cups. Wow. We have the six of cups in reversal. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Seven of Cups on the bottom. That's a lot of water. So maybe you or them have a lot of water in the chart. Um, maybe fire too because we have the sun here. But we'll pull the astrology dice too. Um, okay, so their feelings. It feels like happiness. It feels like deep connection but it's kind of interesting because <clears throat> even though we have so much positive energy and feelings it's like we have this six of cups in reversal right in the middle and so <clears throat> even though it feels like with the sun this is an amazing day this is a happy life this everything is working out it is the sun aries is exalted at 19 degrees so it's the love is exalted like the force like the willpower the um drive to connect and to be with you their feelings are they're on fire and you make this person stronger because the sun the sun is fully authentic too, and they're not afraid to um, say the truth and like stick up for what they love and what they believe in. And so I feel like with this, this person's feelings, it's just open and warm, and especially because it's with the two of cups, so it feels very balanced. I really love this card because I love how they're looking into each other's eyes and they're different right like she's her and he's him but they meet in a place of just that common ground and respecting each other's differences and but that's what makes them like love each other so much and bond so much and actually see eye to eye and very deep conversations so this person really loves the communication with you they love that feeling of you know really actually being in love and with this, it's kind of interesting because the sun can be like a pregnancy card. It, oh yes, definitely. That can be a pregnancy card. Like, it, am I pregnant? You get the sun? Oh, hell yes. Like, you know, it's so happy. It's such great news. And then with the two of cups, I feel like that's also that it's not pregnancy, but it is kind of like a marriage, a connection, a proposal. And so in their feelings, they feel very bright like they see a bright future with you there's something in them with the six of cups in reversal of it could be kind of immature because the six of cups upright is that like pure innocence 
and if it's you know you stay in that and it gets all reversed and it gets all like uh it it could feel like this person there's something within them they need to let go of there's we can pull more like this could maybe not even be about you this could be about their them and their parents this could be about them in a past relationship it could be about i mean there's so much love here and you saw me shuffle the cards they're so positive and so but there's a little bit of immaturity or just knowing that they need to let some things go um we do have this wheel of fortune so to me if I, I feel like if we were just to jump into the Wheel of Fortune and we're like living in that, it would be we are experiencing the right things at the right place at the right time with the right people. And it's just divine because you're telling me everything is working out. Like if you've ever had those life experience where they just don't feel earthy at all, they feel mystical, they feel otherworldly, they feel like they're full of fate and everything's lining up that's that's a feeling that they have with you it feels like um honestly it feels very soulmate and i don't really say that that often but certain people do hit you super super deeply and i feel like you hit them deep into their emotions so with the queen of cups she oh my goodness just to like have a woman or a man or just this energy like um loving you like the queen of cups loves like whoa to be loved by her because the cool thing i'm diving in and i'm learning i'm just going deeper into learning more astrology and more tarot and something i love that i just read was that the queens are the masters so she is the master of the cups in her femininity right in her feminine way and so it feels like you kind of have mass like you kind of have taken over, and it's in a good way, but you've kind of taken over their emotions and you've taken over their feelings where they feel like this is it, like this is this other half, this is this nurturing, loving connection that I want. And so, so now that we know their feelings, let's go ahead and see what is it they're wanting um, in the future. We have, or like what are they wanting to happen with you? We have a lot of more cups more water oh i don't know if i've ever got this many cups before the three of pentacles that's really good really working together we do it's kind of interesting how that we have some let's see i'm going to go ahead and pull one more so tell us a little bit more on what do they want to happen with you what's this one okay Okay, so this is very interesting because we have more reversals in what they're wanting for the future. And I think it has something to do with this reversal being right in the middle of needing to let go of something, needing to grow up, needing to mature. Like for some of them, maybe they even live with their parent or they have a, a problem with the parent. This is the card of childhood. So um, let's see. Or maybe they have a child. Um okay or you have a child there there could be something here with children especially with the sun coming out first um i know not everyone will relate to that that could even be like some people treat their job or their business or their you know routine like their baby so there could be like a strictness not like saying this person is selfish but it's like sometimes you really have to give right it's it feels really nice to give too Oh my goodness, but they I feel like they do want to give this ace of cups. It's so pure. Like something I learned is that this um this dove, she's it's a white dove and it represents purity, like pure love. And it's overflowing, like oh my goodness. Kind of uh let's say you go on a date or you have an experience, like a first couple experiences with someone. And you are overflowing with emotions because it's like new and it's fresh and it's aces and it's a beginning and it's showing you so much potential. And so, oh, it's interesting. They're pregnancy. So yeah, that can be pregnancy too. That's really interesting. They feel, um, in the future, I feel like it's a, 
they're kind of creating like a new beginning of love and letting that overflow. But with the Nine of Cups in reversal, there's something within them because it's so damn like the Nine of Cups in reversal is telling you like no, like no blessings for you. Like what? What the fuck do you mean no blessings? Like there's something. I'm not saying that for you guys. I'm just kind of channeling the energy. Um, it feels like. They want this future, they want this love overflowing, but there's something in them lacking. Nightmares. Um, hmm. Bothered by something in them. I think it's in them and their childhood and their upbringing or it's just something in them. Why are they bothered? Why do they have this bothered? Okay, we have um the Ten of Cups and Reversal, which this could be just, you know, the bro like a broken family. Like the family dynamic wasn't good. Taking something that could have been so beautiful, but it didn't it wasn't that way. Like I almost could feel like divorce because upright it could be like right it says marriage and like this is a beautiful day this is a pure fulfillment in so many different aspects of life and it's in reverse so um there's something childhood wound related to them because we have a lot of kids here there's a lot of kids connection um It could mean different things. Their upbringing could have not been good. And that could be blocking them from growing up or doing the things that they need to do. Or they could feel like maybe they're not enough. They're not good enough. Maybe they feel like they don't come from a good, stable financial background. I'm not saying finances though being a huge issue. It's more of like a lot of emotions here. Cups, cups, cups. All cups here. So... But we do, very fascinating, we do have this three of pentacles in the middle. And that's really amazing because threes, we're working together, we're collaborating. It's a very creative number. It's a communicative number. We're, we're able to talk, communicate, and collaborate through anything. And so it feels like in their future, they see things kind of working out, getting things planned, moving forward. This could almost feel like you're almost getting counseled, right? Like someone's counseling you looking for advice for other people, maybe talking to someone mature or grounded or, you know, just feeling like we have better advice at something, getting certain goals set. And so it feels like, or this could even be school in a way, because we are, you're working together, you have goals, you're dedicated towards something. And so there is something within them and they, that they see in the future. They see a beautiful future. They see a lot of love overflowing. They see like hand holding and bonding and connecting but at the same time in the same token they know that there's something within them that they need to do better i mean maybe they just it feels like they need like almost like more passion for life like within them because the hangman in reversal it's kind of like ugh, not good needing to let that go because the amazing thing about the hangman up upright is like we do get a surrender and sometimes when you surrender it's like when you just go with the flow and you're like whatever's happening is gonna happen i can't control these people or situations you know i can control my own mind and think positive thoughts and keep praying and knowing that good things will happen but they're lacking like that stable feeling within themselves that maybe they could produce you know produce stability or family but at the same time Within them, in their core, I feel like they know that they could fix this. They know that they could feel better within themselves. And with the pentacles, pentacles, pentacles are awesome because it's not only money, but it's self-worth. And it's interesting how money can make you feel better about yourself because, like, when I, I remember I got a better job with Sophia and, you know, having, because I was, a, it's just Sophia and I, and... I got a better job and I started making more money and I felt so much better because I was like, oh, I can give to her. Like, I love her so much and I want, I want to give her more. And so she's like, 
just my biggest motivation. I love her so much. And it feels like almost like that. Like maybe this person sees you as very precious and they know that you deserve more, but maybe they don't feel like they can do it or they're in the place to do it or something like that. But they know at the same time, I feel like that they know that they can work on themselves and maybe work with others. And then we have this justice in reversal, which things are not balanced. Like I would say it's not very fair, like in that energy. So in the future, I, I feel like they don't want that in the future. I feel like they're actually wanting the opposite. They're wanting something fair, which they do feel that with the two of cups, right? It was the two people looking at each other. They're fair. They're equal to each other. They may be different, right? Like one person's good at this. The other person's good at that. But when they look in their eyes, it's a harmonious feeling where they know that within this bond, they're a team. So in the future, they see definitely like a, a team building, loving. I feel like they could all also want like a friendship in this connection. Let's go ahead. I'm really curious on some of the astrology that wants to come through. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So the 8th house is the house of secrets that we hide. The 12th house are secrets that are hidden from us. The north node, our direction where we're going. We have Cancer, the moon, and Leo, the sun. So there's something here to do with the moon, the mother, the sun, the father. Okay, so there's something huge. And this is kind of interesting. I think it was the second pile that was kind of similar to this. In the future, I do feel like they see the moon, the mother, or in the sun, the father, or whatever you connect with, guys. Like, I, that's just kind of how I read. Like, I'm, not, I'm never here to, like, hurt your feelings or anything like that. I just kind of, that's just kind of, it's a little easier, you know, with astrology and stuff. And so, with the eighth house, it's a, it's a transformation. And the thing is, you, there's a lot of darkness, right, in the eighth house because you're hiding those things. They are dark things, uh, detective-like things. It's death and it's crisis like fuck my life is falling apart but at the same time that's where you, what you get after marriage when you really get a bond that's where you get you know other people's money or inheritances or inheritances or you get blessed financially or just given things financially or just other people's energy coming into you it's also the house of like sex and that's creation and that's divine and so it feels like they really want to bind with you in the future this is the house of scorpio and pisces it's so deep right so they see a future that's deeply like don't let go like do not fucking let go that's the eighth house it, hold my hand tell me you'll be there i'll be there for you too and i know that we can make it and it's interesting because Sometimes I just like lay in bed and <laughs> look up charts. I love when people give me their birth time because I'm like, you're really helping me understand so I can make some connections. <laughs> and so, but I don't, I don't really like going around asking everyone their birth time because they're going to think, what the fuck? <laughs> but with what I'm trying to say is that a lot of married couples have a lot of 8th house plutonic things and it, it's kind of what that passion and that deep intimacy and that needing to be like, hey, you're there for me and I'm there for you. And we're going to get married because the seventh house is the house of marriage and the eighth house is what happens after. And we know we're not really, you may have hurts here and hurts there. We're going to have struggles up and down because, but we're now we're, we're doing life together. And so it's also a friendship feeling. And so it's actually very intense. Like they're very intensely focused on you and their feelings. The 12th house is a very mystical house and it's a house of foreign lands. So I feel like what do they want to happen? I could see traveling in their future with you. I could see you guys um, being curious about the world because both 8th and 12th houses are very mystical. So kind of i'm not saying that this person maybe wants to do tarot or astrology with you but maybe there's a certain level of curiosity of oneself because um eighth house uh, you know like elon musk he has his son in the 12th house and he loves space so sometimes 
a 12th house sun may love astrology and sometimes they may love just <laughs> going to the moon or build, going to Mars or whatever he's doing. <laughs> like, you know, and so they just, they like to go deep with you. And so we have the North Node. So it's like, I have a focus. I have a drive. I know this is what I want and it's going to happen because I'm going to make it happen. So you do fuel them like you give them a lot of drive. And it's a deep drive to like want to protect you because the moon, the mother, cancer, you know, like mothers in like in humans and in animals, they'll do anything to protect their babies. And they could actually be protective just of kids in general. So it feels like this person is very protective over you. They're protective over your feelings. They're protective over just your physical body, like how you express yourself. They care about you on that deep level. They're very caring, right? Because you have cups, 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 cups water 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 so we have more water in this reading than i probably have ever done before in a reading that i think of but it, i mean it's profound like it's emotional this is very deep for them we have s we have three so maybe like gemini like energy could come through as well needing to communicate needing to talk oh we also have the sixth house or the sixth month um so virgo that's a lot of wanting to talk about things. We have I love, we have the pound sign, we have H, we have N, we have D, we have U, we have S, we have the number seven, so maybe the seventh month or Libra, we have Q, we have O, we have Y, we have the number four, so maybe we're connecting with some Aries too. Um, we have L, so I'm just going to pick a couple more. Oh, E just fell on the floor, so maybe there's a strong connection with <laughs> the letter E. I don't think... Oh, my hair. Sorry. <laughs> um, we have R. Sometimes I just have to... Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I have to put my hair back. I have to clip it out of my face. You know how that is sometimes. We have C. We have the number two, so we could be connecting with Taurus too. We have W. We have G. And we have A. Okay, guys, so that's what I'm seeing for you. I hope it connected. I hope it resonated. It was a really deep reading. I feel like this person really cares about you. There's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of feelings here. And I feel like if this person could, you know, just connect. Because, like, I connected with it. This isn't my reading, and I, but I just thought about Sophia. And if if they could just believe in themselves, you know, that's probably the best thing because when I just started believing in me and not worrying about other people and just doing my own thing entirely, that's when I was the most happy. I feel like it, and hold on, I want to pull one more card. Tell me, tell me a little bit more of what do they want to happen with group number three. Clock time. Time, pressure, and a rush. Oh, that's interesting. It's like, I don't want to wait. I do not want to wait. I do not want to drag this on. I don't want any games. It's annoying. It's irritating. Um, it could almost be like Saturn or Capricorn. Time, restrictions, pressure, discipline. We need to do this. It needs to happen. Like, so... A big, a big feeling, I feel like, uh, to wrap it up, is I don't, I don't want to wait. We're getting older, you're getting older, even if this person is young, they could feel like 
what are you supposed to do, wait forever, you know? So this is very deep. I hope it connected with you. I'm so grateful. If you like the reading, I hope you just like the video. And I'm <laughs> just, we'll see you again very soon. <laughs> Bye. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome to your reading. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and get really relaxed and comfortable as we dive in. So group number four, what are they wanting to happen with you? So what we're going to do first is we're going to kind of find out what are their feelings? How are they feeling? What are their overall feelings for you? Oh, that's interesting. We have the sun. We got that last time. It just barely is the first card. We have strength in reverse. So two major arcana cards. Very major reading. Oh, and we have the moon. So we have three major arcana cards, the sun and the moon, the father and the mother. We have the world. We have all major arcana cards. What the hell? This is crazy. Oh, and the eight of swords. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh my goodness. They really like you intensely, but they have some stuff going on. Like eight, eight, like some power things. Okay, so their feelings towards you. The sun, this is beautiful. This is happiness. This is bright. This is warm. It feels good. It's definitely a yes. It's a very motherly too. It's very fatherly. It's a pregnancy card. It is a just a full on just i mean it's like the best card in the deck honestly it's so good and so when that starts it off like it feels like smiling it feels like happiness it feels like vacation almost because everything is working out it feels like light like dimensions of light all around you and it feels so good and so but we have we have some low self-esteem we have a lack of confidence we're not feeling they're you know they're not feeling that good with the strength in reverse the strength of bright you have, like i have inner confidence i have inner strength i don't need to look out anywhere else to anything like i don't fucking need approval from anybody but they're wanting approval in their feelings they want some approval of you it's so fiery they feel a lot of fire on the inside like that we have the moon so not always seeing things clearly so in in their feelings this is a lot of maybe different scenarios going on like thinking one way but it's really something else like they need to get straight i feel like kind of need to get things clear this sun over here needs to illuminate all of these cards illuminate any illusions or deception so we can really see the truth for what it is we have the world in reverse so the world upright oh my goodness like we did it like we did it we made it through the major arcana you know and we everything all the different cards all the different tri trials all the different shit we went through and we made it but it's in reverse so it's there's still that it still is the world, but in their feelings, it's a very um, difficult self-esteem issues of me. I feel like they feel like you're completely outdoing them in life. And maybe you're watching this. Well, they have a better job or they have more money or whatever. Sometimes it's not, things aren't measured like that because one of the most, for me, like when I view the world... Sometimes it's like the happiest people that I'm like, whoa, just seeing people happy, enjoying life, that, that is success to me. And so there's a certain amount of like happiness that's in your eyes and your smile and the way you communicate. There's a lot of like, it feels like dimensions of light coming off of you. It's very natural. It's natural energy and it's a, it's a, it's a connection that you get with your soul and it illuminates outward and so it feels like very exhilarating yet relaxing very exciting but calming to be with you and so they're actually very inspired by you they're inspired by this force they're inspired by the dimensions of light that you have in your soul so you're a very powerful soul 
and I just feel like with the eight of swords it's you're just like such a victim it's a victim mentality you know it just tied up um blindfolded it not in the fun way <laughs> I've never done that before but it's just not good right it's just helpless and so in their feelings and maybe you're watching this like yeah they fucked up and maybe that's why they're not feeling like they're you know riding the kind of you know it reminds me of a the six of wands when he's like riding his horse and it it has a song like nobody can tell me nothing like full on success like not giving a fuck no they are not feeling good which is too bad almost being a little bit dramatic <laughs> I feel like in their feelings because when they're around you and they're in this feeling and they're in the dimensions of light that you have and you possess and it comes out of your aura it makes it it makes them happy but at the same time I feel it makes them aware of just some things that they need to work on I'm not saying this person is not great and he does this person doesn't have potential like I'm not saying that at all but for some reason they're not quite feeling like they're on your level okay so let's go ahead and um so now that we have some of their feelings let's go through and look at like what are they wanting to happen with you two so tell us okay so that's really good we have the seven of pentacles really making an investment in something we have the ace of pentacles we have some money some money issues we have a lot of earthy energy <laughs> we have some like wittiness we have a, a lot of hmm. communication we have earth needing to needing to talk about earthy realistic things let's get one more Well, whole deck wants to come out. So tell us a little bit more about this one before. I love another. Oh, wait. Okay, I just want one or else I just feel like. Okay, but two keeps coming out. Okay, <laughs> just bear with me. Okay, the Queen of Cups. That's beautiful. Okay, so what are they wanting to happen? Well, with the Seven of Pentacles, this is really great because um, it was interesting. I was listening to... Uh, Dr. Joseph Murphy, he is amazing. I love him. He was a psychologist. He's kind of a philosopher. Like, he's just incredible. He wrote the book, The Power of the Subconscious Mind. So I pretty much have read not all of his books, but a lot of them. And I listened to his old tapes. So he was like born way back in the day. Um, and he was talking about people that want to do well or they want to be successful or, or they really want something in life and the answer you know they'll get pushed down they'll get told no sit back down it's not your turn you didn't win or whatever and then they get back up they try again like I won't give up I want to keep going I want to push forward I'm going to work hard towards what I want and so this person they really want to make an investment with like with you like with this connection and they see you as something really worth investing in. The dimension, I just keep saying it, the dimensions of light that pulse in your veins, that radiate out in your aura, feels really good. And it feels like a safe place to be with and to connect with. But with uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, it's like, oh no. <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of... Um, it's kind of hard because the Ace of Pentacles upright, we're really feeling that, that money, that flow of money, the beginning of something new, feeling very bougie, very like all the worth, like I'm worth so much and I've created it because it's pentacles and I show for it because it's pentacles. And so they're having some issues with money, okay? So, or maybe they feel like it's my car nice enough like is my do I have a house like am I in that position to have all this pentacles of uh, pentacles is very earthy too so we can look at that as beauty because ve that Venetian energy and I see Taurus here so they could also I feel like you're very beautiful 
you're very magnetic. And so sometimes there, there's just a feeling of, I need, I need to maybe do more, or maybe they feel like they want to work out or better themselves. There's something that they're wanting to do that really makes a, a lasting, you know, creation and willing to kind of put the steps and create the goals and get it all going and be, you know, patient while it comes out. And, and so we have the page of swords. So on what they're wanting, um, I feel like the page of swords to me can be kind of witty, kind of really interesting to talk to, kind of useful and, um, quick and fun and, um, curious. And so in the future, I feel like they see a lot of interesting talks, you know, flirting, teasing. I think they like the conversations that you guys have with each other, especially because we have this ace of swords. So this is really random, but maybe for some of you guys, they, they actually see in the future, like putting your minds together to create an investment, to create something, to make money. If that sounds really weird, it could also mean like, um, whether they could want to go to school, right? Because it's like, there's all this connection of using the minds and having this newness and it's upright. So it's good. And this is where a lot of, of that success will come through. And that's how we can get that creation is in the mind. So in the future, I feel like they want to think better. I think they want to think more positive I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I feel like for some of you guys, Ace of Swords by the Queen of Cups, the mother, for some of you, and we have the moon, which oh, one time I asked if someone was pregnant and I got the moon and I was like Googling it and it was saying like, no, and she was. And so I really connect the moon with mother, mothering energy. And so, which of course we do that with cancer and astrology. But I feel like this is really interesting. In the future, I feel like they want to bond more with your mother. Or they want to bond with some of your friends. They want to um, connect on deep levels with people that really mean something to you. Where there's a lot of deepness. Where there's a lot of love. Where there's a lot of connection. And have that kind of empathy and that closeness with one another. Let's go ahead and get some astrology group number four. Okay, so we have the third house of Gemini. We have the seventh house of Libra. So three and seven, one, like a newness, a new beginning. We have, let's do the North Node. We have Scorpio. And we have Cancer. Okay, so with the third house, this is a lot of talking. This is very interesting this is short term term like travels for some of you guys maybe you don't live by each other or you live you don't live together they could want to actually move in with you because the seventh house is the house of marriage so there could be a deep need to want to communicate these things and talk about these things and maybe that's why we're also having so much swords energy here it's kind of interesting because we have swords and we have water and we have swords and we have water so they deeply, like, deeply with the water want to talk about everything. They want to talk about it with the air. And so with the North Node, this is our direction. We want to go there. This is going to satisfy us the most. And so I feel like they see this future with you. And one of the things they want so deeply is to bond on deep, intimate levels deep conversations, interesting conversations. They want to connect more deeply with like sex and things that you can only do with that one person. So lots of cuddling, lots of kissing, um, take off the makeup, makeup, take off the hair extensions, like take off anything. I want to see you fully because this feels with Scorpio and the moon cancer. It feels like a moon Pluto aspect. And I do, I have seen a lot of that and the people that actually really make it in marriage and they are married and they're married for a really long time in synastry charts or composite charts like obviously it's difficult because the moon 
doesn't really like Pluto because it can be so intense, but at the same time, isn't that interesting that that that's what comes through? My my parents, they've been married. Let's see. So my mom met my dad when she was 19, and my mom's like 50. Five? I don't know. I don't know how old I'm going to go ask her. But they've been married for so long and they have had their moments because Moon Pluto is so intense and it just can create an intensity. But at the same time, it was so magnetic. So in their feelings, I feel like they don't want boring. I don't think they want to be bored. They like to be like mentally stimulated. They like to talk to you in deep levels. They like to feel you deeply. They like to love deeply and closely. And so... And I feel like they do see some sort of marriage here with the seventh house of marriage. Um, maybe for some of you guys, you... Well, I don't really think a lot of married people would watch this. But there's a big focus on marriage. So let's go ahead and pull one more of these on what do they want to happen with you. So we have 42, Mortality. Life is brief, uh, brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. So it's like, we have this life, right? We have a beautiful life to live. There's so much to do. There's so much to see. There's learning. There's traveling. There's deep connection. There's deep intimacy. There's happiness. There's sports. There's dance. There's artistic things. There's simply laying down and doing nothing and there's a stripping away of the makeup stripping away of anything designer or this or the i own this i own that it's just stripping away any of that and just having the raw beauty that you guys hold together and so let's go ahead and get some of these okay so we have T, we have A, we have 2, maybe someone's 28, we have 5 or 25, we have H, we have V, we have R, we have S, we have a heart, we have another heart. Lots of love here. We have L. We have P. We have I. We have Z. We have M. We have G. We have 6. We have U. <laughs> so. <laughs> We have H, maybe like a playful, playing around is good too. Laughing is good. Humor is good. Oh my goodness, is that good? Like if you're going through a difficult time and if you could laugh that shit off, like, oh my goodness, it helps so much. We have K, we have five. Oh, we have 55. That's change. And that's one. And that's one. Kind of a, an 11, 11. Oh, look, and we have one. Huh, that's interesting. We have T again. Okay, guys. So that is what I saw. That is what came through. I hope it connected. I hope it resonated. I'm so grateful that you're here. I hope you have a great day or a great night. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.